Hey everybody, what's going on? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast Review. Now today we're taking a look at our, well, I know what you're thinking. Is this a new driver that I'm doing a review of? Well, technically, you are correct. Now, in all my years of doing Diecast Reviews, I don't think I have ever done a new dr driver before for a little while. Until now. So, today we are taking a look at our first ever Jeremy Clements diecast. Now, this is actually a, a special finish diecast. This is, as you can see, it's liquid color from from the pink. And you may be wondering why today? Why am I doing a Jeremy Clements review on Dale Earnhardt's birthday? Well, you're actually correct there because this is actually the same the same scheme that Dale Earnhardt Sr. would race the K2 pink car. And yes, today is also Dale Earnhardt's birthday as well. Another heavenly birthday for Dale Sr. And this is also a, uh, an exclusive finish from Jeremy Clements. This is the, uh, the Kevin Whitaker Chevrolet from Greenville, South Carolina. And there's actually 72 of these cars that are made. And to be honest, I'm going to share y'all a, a Jeremy Clemens story after this review. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take this car out of the, well, off the display stand. I'll be right back. And got the car off the display stand finally. Now, usually I would take a look at, from the front first, but in this case, we're actually going to take a look at the engine before we get to the car itself. So... So here, here's actually the front as well anyway. This is a, a Jeremy Clemens Racing. This is also another small team that we are looking at again. And you can actually see the uh, the, the light coming off of the uh, of that liquid color. That looks nice. You got the Camaro look. You got, there's that engine inside. And of course... Every Chevrolet engine, you get a Chevrolet logo underneath, so let's go ahead and close it down. I figure I want to do that anyway. And here's the hood as well. Kevin Whitaker Chevrolet from Greenville, South Carolina. Check them out. I will link them down in the description below. We got... Clemens' name up on the uh, name banner along with the Xfinity banner as well. We also got the number 51 on here as well. And is that a piece of hair? <laughs> it is a piece of hair. <laughs> Oops. And there is KevinWhitaker.com. So, and this car, it looks gorgeous. I'll tell you that right now. This car is just completely gorgeous, even if it's liquid color. Now, if you happen to have the Galaxy version, great. Hey, because they actually did a limited run number on limited run on these things, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see Jeremy Clements up at Atlanta Motor Speedway anyway, so I just might as well uh, go ahead and get this car so I can get it signed. So hopefully, I have a pink paint marker in my backpack. If not, I'll just have to go to the art store and just get it. So here's the uh, contingency sponsors. We got the Simpson belt down here in the front corner pin. Front bumper. We got ARP. Oh, that's what it stands for. Automotive Racing Products. And you got Sunoco as well. We got Goodyear on here. We got NASCAR Xfinity Series. We got Mobile One. Lincoln Welders and Arrowhead Brass. And keep in mind, this is also in another Xfinity Series diecast that I'm doing. We've got the NASCAR race car, and there's the uh, number 51, and it's in the look of, of the uh, older style of Dale Earnhardt. Now, keep in mind, Dale Earnhardt raced a uh, two car back then, I think a uh, Ford, I believe. I don't know, my memory's so foggy. So, Instead of Jeremy Clements' name up on the name rail, it's actually right down here on the door. We 
We've got some more contingencies up on the B pillar. And look at the close up on that window net. It's very realistic. Got Comatic, got Mechanic Square, Wix filters, Chalu performance. Move down here, we'll look at some associate sponsors as well. We got Dynamic, we got Upstate, CMAX, and look at that, Circle B Diecast. Circle B Diecast would sponsor with Jeremy Clemens time and time again as an associate sponsor. Now, we really like to see them as a, a primary sponsor for, just for one race. But then again, Circle B Diecast, hey, your purchase of these actually help fuel the real cars and trucks that you see out on the track. There's Whitetail Smokeless, Carolina Driveline, Elite Towing and Recovery, E3. There's the Academy kind of Whitaker Chevrolet, you got the RR, which is the RunnerRoost.com. There's the back of the well, and look at the glare that's actually coming off the back. Chevrolet, the Camaro in the back end. If you actually look up on the back of the deck lid, you see the names that actually did contribute to the scheme. A lot of familiar names on here. And also the diecast identification number is right here. And ooh, just five short of a door number. And there's Jeremy Clemens' name up on the, the back windshield. And you may realize that this, since this car was actually raced at, I believe Watkins Glen, the fuel filler, they still use these uh, regular molds. So instead of the fuel filler being right here, as usually, it happens to be on the right side for a change. And this side is the same way. So here's also the uh, underside as well, the chassis, which is molded plastic, screwed onto die cast metal. I really love the uh, the color and corn thing underneath as well. Just the, uh, the sparkle of the pink. Let's see why liquid color is one of my favorite rides now. Before I really want to sign off this video now, for those that don't know, now for those that don't know, a couple of weeks ago, if you happen to listen on the uh, the Outstanding Life of the Motivational Cowboy, for those that don't know, Johnny D also does a podcast off the track. You can listen on to with your favorite platforms or, or stream streaming networks which is mine is Spotify and I just happen to have it as well Jeremy Clements actually did appear on it now this is a true story this is a very very true story now I happen to be at the track and up at Atlanta Motor Speedway and if you actually listen into the Atlanta Motor Speedway part when they were when they were talking about Atlanta Motor Speedway, that's actually true. What just happens for now, I do have a note, but the problem is, I can't show it on camera because it has a, a Jeremy Clemens private e -name on the, email on there, and I really don't want to uh, release that kind of uh, personal info out to everybody, so, so with just all the uh, respect and privacy for him. And Johnny D started talking about Oh, this guy carrying a, a note around his backpack. Now, for those that don't know, I carry a, a clear backpack with me to Atlanta Motor Speedway. And, of course, it had trading cards in it. It's basically a big binder, a four-inch four, four D-ring binder, which is that one right there, down there. And it's just full to the brim with the cards I like, cards I like to get signed. There's some I sent out through the mail to get signed. And some I like getting signed in person. And that's the backpack right there in question. Clear one right here. And there's all the uh, paint markers in there too. 
I think it's that magenta in there. Oh, that's cool. So, I happen to be at the Speedway. Anyway, and this was at the Team Chevy Fan Zone. And for those who don't know, you can actually point point out the the Chevrolet Fan Zone. It's actually the uh, second biggest, biggest if not the second biggest. And we know that the biggest one is basically the fan stage. And the Team Chevy Fan Zone always stands out the most. However, I met Jeremy Clements there. Said he'll hook me. That he'll hook me up with some Xfinity passes to any race of my choice. And I was like, you know what? Y'all going to be back here anyway in July. So let's go for the July one. And basically from what I've heard on the podcast, I am there. I am Jeremy Clems Racing's guest as for that tr- for that race. So that's the reason why I said... Hey, coming in July, you're going to get a very, very unique perspective from a VIP standpoint. And it is so cool. I share this on my friends with uh, Discord from History Inside a Nutshell. They are thrilled. I shared it on a Sam's Historic Travels Discord server, and they are too thrilled as well and don't worry guys I will be sending back some photos there so and I think that will be all for this review anyway and that's actually my little story as well and that's the reason why I got the uh, Jeremy Clemens profile pic that you actually see on my YouTube page at this very moment so anyway if you uh, like this video leave a like comment on here subscribe for more NASCAR diecast reviews I try to publish them out in the best way that I can I am a Circle B Diecast affiliate. Use coupon code Kruger for five dollars off shipping on all orders thirty dollars or more, and that is useful for the continental U.S. And uh, keep an eye out for some uh, exclusive finishes like this being air freighted, and you can actually use that coupon code for something like like this as well. Anyway, so without further ado, again, my name is Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video. Plus, if you like to hear that episode from the podcast, I will link that down in the description below as well.